Hello, and welcome to my lovely abode. You know this thing called school? Yeah, it's pretty epic, until you realize you have one week left until your final exams. Actually... Okay. I don't have any left, so let's talk about my experience with them. For those unaware, school exams are basically the final test you have to take for a certain subject. It's the grand finale of tests, if you want to call it that. These tests usually have a lot of weight put on them, and for some classes, can decide whether or not you graduate from high school. So naturally, when these things come up, a lot of pressure is put on students, whether by their teachers, parents, or themselves, to pass. Like, Alright kids, I know that this test may or may not determine whether or not you graduate from high school, but hey, you know, just do your best. Do your best, kiddo. Yeah, thanks, teacher. That makes me feel really better, and I'm not way more nervous about this. But now, on to the exam portion. The first was the math test, and I'm a stay-at-home student this year. So I needed to have a full-on camera crew, like, set up to show my teacher that I wasn't cheating. I'm filming a Hollywood movie about the math test that I studied two straight weeks for. But I did pass it with an 81 without cheating, so I think that deserves a movie within itself. But now, it's time for the real fun. I had six exams within the span of two weeks, and they were all under the same type of class. ACE. Now, ACE has some wacky rules, and they go something like this. Basically, we all had to arrive in one room, whether it be the cafeteria or some computer lab, which isn't too out of the ordinary. Then, they ask you to put all of your belongings like cell phones and digital watches in your book bag and leave it in the holding room. Again, not too out of the ordinary. But, then the shenanigans begin. They told us to line up, which, of course, isn't too out of the ordinary, but instead of by alphabetically, they did it by the candidate number. And we would line up in straight lines, and we had to walk halfway across the school to get to our room. If you had just come in, you'd think we were going to the gym to beat somebody up. The line was that long. The tests themselves are very unique. These tests aren't just like, well, you had a sucky day... Today, sucks to be you, take the F. Instead, the points are evenly distributed between two tests. So, if you have an off day on the first day of a certain test, you can make up those lost points on the second test. It's a more forgiving system, unless you consider one rule. The talking rule. Now, it's usually a normal system where if you talk or cheat, you get thrown out and your test gets invalidated. Now, this only applies to you, but in ACES system, if one person cheats or talks, Everybody suffers. They all get their test invalidated. It's like this. Under the normal system, it'd be like, One of you said something bad about my mother. Get out of here! Under the A system, it's like, I don't care which one of you said something bad about my mother. All of you are out of here! Now, it wasn't over yet. I needed to do one more. The easiest test. History. Boom. America has done a lot of bad stuff over the last 300 plus years when we've been a country and we haven't learned from it. Cool. Now, I was going into that day thinking of that joke and that was all I was going to write about it. But, nah. Here's a live looking at my county school board. Okay, so it shipped down all of the new proctoring books that the proctors are going to use. It includes all the stuff that they made me, like the new time rules we put in. Oh uh, yeah, like that one new rule where they can't leave the testing room? Yeah. Oh crap, we forgot to tell them that they can leave at lunch! Quick, send an email 15 minutes before lunch! Overall, this exam period was a bit stressful at the start. Um, you know, eight tests in three and a half weeks? I mean, that seems like a student's worst nightmare, but... After I got done with the first few, I kind of got into a rhythm and was able to finally complete them. Now, it's finally time to start relaxing for a little bit. Hey Noah, you're a senior next year, you need to start applying for colleges! Uh! Hey, thank you for watching this video. If you enjoyed the video, I'd appreciate a like or a, and maybe consider subscribing. I'm trying to get to 100 subs this year, and each one helps. Thank you, and I hope you have a great day.